Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if it's stuck on verifying update for iOS 18 or for any update you want to follow these steps. So let's get started. First thing is you're going to go into your setting on your iPhone and then go into your general software update and see if you can update it. Sometimes it takes a little bit, a couple tries and you should be able to update it and it should automatically verify it. If it doesn't work, simply click on automatic updates turn these three toggles off, go back to this page, come back again to automatic updates and then turn them all back again and go ahead and see if you can go ahead and update your phone now. If that didn't work, the next thing you wanna do is simply swipe up, close out that settings app, pull down the control menu or pull it up, put your phone on airplane mode briefly and then turn it back off and then go into your settings again and then general software update and see if you can update now. Now, if that didn't work, the next thing you want to do is ensure that you don't have any VPN setting turned on. So in order to do that, you're going to go into your settings, go to general, and then you're going to look for VPN and device management. If you have a VPN connected, simply turn it off or remove it temporarily and then close out this app. And then you're going to follow this step, which is going to be you're going to quickly press and release the volume up or quickly press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the apple logo appears so it's going to be volume up volume down and then i hold on to the side button just like that and we're going to wait for the screen to go completely black and the apple logo to appear before we let go of that side button so we're going to wait here for a moment and once we see the Apple logo up here, we let go of that side button. And basically what that's doing is shutting down the phone completely, reloading the code. So if it's a software related issue causing the phone software to keep on verifying or being stuck on that, it will go ahead and fix it. So we're gonna wait for that. And once you're back on, hopefully it's working. If it's not, this time you're gonna go into your settings and then you're gonna go to general and then go to date and time. Now it's important that date and time here matches your local time zone. And this might change, especially if you're traveling or moving around. You can always take off where it's a set automatically and manually adjust the time zone, the date and time. But ideally you wanna go back to having it set automatically and it should go ahead and fix it if it's not. Let's, moving on to the next thing which you wanna do in order to troubleshoot is make sure your phone battery is at least 50% or more. If it's not, go ahead and keep it connected to a charger or go into your settings, go to battery, where you see low power battery mode. If you have this setting turned on, simply turn that setting off. It'll prevent your phone from doing certain things as downloading and installing new update. Now, along with that, if it's still having an issue, the next thing you wanna do in your settings is go to general. This time, scroll down where it says transfer reset iPhone. Click on that, click on reset, and we wanna do a network reset. Now when you do a network reset, basically resets only the network settings like saved Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connected devices. It will not delete any of your personal data. Should take about 30 seconds to a minute to do, but a very important thing to do in terms of fixing your phone stuck on software update. Now if all of this didn't work, the next thing to do is simply, you can either wait a few hours and retry because a lot of devices are looking to update it and it might not work right away. Sometimes it takes a few hours for the phone to actually start verifying the update. Or you can try to update it through iTunes, which we explain in another video. I'm gonna link that video in the comment or the description section as it takes a little bit longer to do. So we're gonna make into that video where you can follow those steps as well. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.